Okay. Now with the velvet grip, I'm going to begin uh, a little sawing exercise. And the first one that we have here is uh, on plastic. Now this little uh, drawing of the heart shape, this little, it makes a little sculpture by the way, a little slot sculpture. So the little feet on the sculpture will slot together to make it stand up if it's sawn correctly. Now the real trick with sawing, and when you get good at this, is that you can saw right down the center of a line, to the right of a line, or to the left of a line. When we saw the slots in this piece, we have to saw the insides of the line. Um, so, and the only way that you can saw this precisely is to be sawn where you're at, and to be saw filing. Now you remember when I talked about how the blade has file edges on it? That means that you can saw and file at the same time. If you've been sawing and when you're done extracting a shape, you have to file the edges to bring it back into line with the drawing, you're not saw filing and you're not sawing where you're at because there's no reason why you can't saw extremely precisely anytime you want to. With this method, you can definitely do that. But it means that you have to understand what's taking place where the metal meets the material. Okay, so to start the sawing process here, Tom has to put on his little close-up glasses because being able to see what you're doing down there is critical to being able to uh, saw very well. And with the plastic, I can just put the, the saw against the edge of the of the material and just begin to move it up and down. Now I am literally at this moment adding no pressure whatsoever to the saw frame. I am just moving the saw frame up and down in place and you can see what's happening. It's already making the cut. And you know why? Because this little saw only has one reason for existing in our reality time frame. It only has one mission here on planet Earth. It is only here for one purpose, and that is to saw its way through the material you apply it to. And it wants to do that regardless of how much or how little effort you put into the process. It will do its job very well if you understand its basic nature. In order to understand its basic nature, you have to listen to it. And you listen to it by holding the frame properly, the velvet grip, which, which uh, indicates and sets up an intuitive feedback loop between the blade, the frame, your hand, your arm, and your brain. Oh, <laughs>